<sighs> Morning, YouTube. All right, we're going outside today and we're gonna go get some pictures and I've got a secret weapon that I'm gonna show you a little later. So let's get this packed up and get going. <clears throat> Secret weapon. I've got is I've got some video of the 105 f2.5 I've got some sample photos I've got some 100% crops and what I found yesterday was this lens was actually really easy to work with especially on the Sony a7 II the, the Sony camera bodies make them really easy to work with focusing once you do it a while manual focusing actually gets pretty fast I was actually getting pretty good action shots it's nothing compared to the computerized autofocus of a more modern DSLR, you know, the D850 and the, the new A7 III and A7R III and A9, all of those, and I'm assuming the 1DX. I don't leave Canon out on purpose, I just don't have anything made by them, so other than a printer. <laughs> I got really good shots yesterday, and the light was kind of hit and miss. It was sunny for a while, and it was overcast for a while, and then it went back and forth, back and forth. But all in all, I was able to basically get real good images out of a, I'm assuming it's about 25 year old lens. The serial number's in the 900 thousands. So I don't know the production dates, maybe Nikon does. But if you're into, if you're into just general photography or as a hobby, an old manual focus lens like this is, this little guy is really nice. And it's not a lot of money, I mean, it was a little over $200. That's it. Two bills basically got one of the sharpest lenses that I have. <laughs> it's a really sharp little lens. I stopped it down to F4 for a while to see if I could really notice a difference in quality from F2.5, 2.8, and F4, and there was nothing there. The lighting conditions didn't allow me to really stop it down a whole lot past that because I was trying to, we were, we were in, in between rocks. You see it in the pictures, but we were in between rocks and up against ledges and stuff in the shade a lot of times. So I was trying to run a pretty large aperture to get a lot of light so I could keep my ISO down. This lens has one unusual feature. F2.5 is one and a third stops from F4. So it actually has a detent but it's not marked. So you go F2.5 and then the first detent is, is the F2.8 detent, it's just slightly over. All right, there's your 2.8, 2.5, 2.8, and then it hops all the way to F4 next, and then hole stops all the way to 22. I thought that was kind of neat. They gave you the F2.8 um, aperture stop in case you wanted to deliberately choose that aperture, or maybe your camera would be set for it or something. But I thought that was kind of an interesting setup that I had never seen before. The lens has a built-in lens hood that gives you the functionality of that. It's got beautiful glass, as you can see. It's just right on through. Big old giant hole right through there. Gorgeous, gorgeous elements in it. The lens's minimum focus distance is one meter. Yeah, actually it may go just a smidge past it. Yeah, probably about 0.8 meters. Maybe 0 0.95, 0 0.8, somewhere in there. It goes just a little bit past it. So to minimum focus distance, I have not measured it. It has an infinity hard stop, which is kind of nice. If you get to where you want to shoot something way off with a 105, it's kind of, I guess you could do sort of a landscape shot with it, but it does have an infinity hard stop. 
and it's all metal construction except for the aperture ring appears to be plastic the barrel the lens hood the body all of that is precision machined aluminum it looks gorgeous so if you're looking to get a manual focus lens something that is kind of general purposey the 50 millimeter is always a good choice but next to that this thing is incredible it would make an excellent portrait lens especially if you're shooting in studios under controlled conditions and your subject's going to be in a fixed location you you could do wonderful things with this 200 dollar lens so with that i appreciate you guys and if you haven't hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it and leave me a comment tell me what your favorite manual focus lens is and we'll go from there i'll see you guys later y'all take it easy goodbye